What's up, y'all? What's good? What's good? It's your boy AC on here. But, uh, yeah. I uh, just got word that Suge Knight will be going to court in September. After three years for what Suge Knight ran over, um... Mr. Carter, Terry Carter, rest in peace to Terry Carter. That was messed up. And you know, I've, I never knew who uh, Terry Carter was. All I know that, you know, he was real heavy in the uh, music business. He owned a record company called Heavyweight Records. You can imagine how the family is feeling because like, in case like people don't really know what's going on or like what, what happened, um, Allegedly, Suge Knight uh, had a talk with with Terry about Suge and Dr. Dre reconciling their differences in regards to what's happened in the past and everything. Because, you know, Dr. Dre and Suge Knight had a record company together called Death Row Records. And, you know, I've been following the whole Death Row movement since day one, since I was a kid, you know, ever since Death Row got started. And watching the documentaries and everything, um, I've been, you know, like I said, I've just been following everything and watching it, watching all the information back then, and then now there's new information coming out. You know, you got a lot of TV series out right now. Like right now, I'm watching Unsolved, uh, Who Killed uh, Biggie and Tupac. There's so many Who Killed Biggie and Tupac documentaries, TV shows. And, um, man, it's just like everything's starting to come out. But the fact of the matter, what I'm getting here is that Suge is really looking at some serious, serious jail time. Not for just only murder, but just, just for a whole lot of shit. Like, everybody trying to put the fall on him in regards to, like, Biggie's murder, Tupac's murder. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's been revealed who did it and who was all involved. But everything's been, you know what I'm saying, swept under the rug. People know who did it. And, and you know, yeah, we believe it's, it's been some corruption in all different, different points of view. Let's just keep it real. But, yeah, so September, y'all, it's going down, man. I'm going to show y'all this document. You know that I uh, pulled up, proving that uh, Suge Knight's going to court in September. Y'all place your comments and tell me what you guys think. After three years, I mean, it was, it was the crazy part about it is. Um, while Backbone refused to testify in court against Suge Knight, as if, you know what I'm saying, he don't want to snitch or break any street code. You know what I'm saying? Clee Bone Sloan. And, you know, he was ran over. I'll show y'all that footage right quick, too, where, you know, he was ran over and he walked up to Suge, you know, when Suge pulled up in his truck and words got exchanged. So, whatever happened after that, shit just went haywire, period. You know what I mean? And Shook pulls up, and he pulls back. Fuck, he hit, he hit Bone so bad. I mean, fuck, I'm surprised he recovered from that shit. And he's still doing his thing, too, y'all. Don't get it twisted. But damn... When Suge ran over Terry, oh, fuck, that was bad business. And all Terry was trying to do was be a peacemaker. He was known for being a peacemaker in the streets amongst, you know, people being in the industry. And I understand where Terry was coming from at the time. Rest in peace to Terry, Terry Carter. I understand where he was coming from. He was just trying to make peace and try to, like, get people to come together and and hash it out and have a talk, have a discussion and try to, 
you know, get to the bottom of it and, and make peace. That's what I'm saying, but that's one angle. But then it was another angle, another situation allegedly that Suge was coming to collect because uh, when they was doing Straight Outta Compton movie, people were saying that allegedly Suge didn't like the fact that he was being portrayed in the Straight Outta Compton movie. So, so I don't know what the outcome is gonna be, but it looks like Suge's gonna be doing, he's looking at some serious jail time for this because it's a life gone and the cold part about it. I don't think that he meant to run over Terry like that on purpose. Maybe he probably got scared or got nervous and wasn't thinking clear or wasn't thinking straight or he felt like somebody was out to, you know what I'm saying, to do him in on the set as if he was being set up because uh, Suge, from what I, from allegedly that Suge looked through his rearview mirror and saw some people came out at the bone came out, you know, dude came out of the car and, you know, I guess he took it as if, you know, these dudes try to do him in. That's why I'm saying we don't know what words got exchanged when Suge pulled up. But I, I think the way it was handled, it was just like all bad, you know what I mean? So... But yeah, I just want to give my commentary about that, show y'all some elements, and show y'all the whole rundown. You know, because this happened on Rosecrans Boulevard in front of Tams, and Tams, you know, they got some good ass barbecue ribs there. I'll be buying barbecue ribs there. I used to go over there, I used to chill with this chick that lived up the street from there in Compton, and I would pick her up. We would go by there, go pick up some some burgers or. I, man, they got some bomb-ass pastrami sandwiches, too. They real big and huge. I, I used to buy me a pastrami and fries and shit. You know, having the munchies and all. And, you know, but now it's like... I haven't been there in a while, though. I ain't gonna front. You know, I've just been trying to watch what I eat and all, so... But, uh... Man. And to go by there now, it's like you would think about that moment. This is where Terry Carter got ran over at by Suge Knight. Anybody that live in Compton that know Terry, that know Suge, that know the people that grew up out there in Compton, they're going to think about that. Trust and believe. They're going to think. Especially the ones who love Terry Carter. I'm pretty sure, man, my condolences goes out to the family because I know they're grieving real hard for the loss of, of, of Terry. I mean, shit. Damn, I just had my head shaking just thinking about it. But yeah, I just wanted to give my commentary. Peace out, y'all. Thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe. Place your comments. You know, give your opinion.